Dear viewers, good day. I'm going to discuss the 1954 Jefferson Nichols in this episode. Philadelphia was struck. There is no doubt that this one is from Philadelphia because it mint mark on the waterways next to the Monticello building circulated, ineffectively hit, and worn specimen. By the Sheldon scale, which is regarded as an accurate measure of condition, circulated math grade was below average. The obverse and some letters are not completely struck. As an illustration, S and T in a truss eroding, as it ages incorrect flash at mistake coins struck in 1954 U.S. dollars. More than 48 million five cents were spent there. In general, the 1954 Jefferson nickel is not regarded as a rare or scarce coin. The mintage figures show that these nickels were produced in significant quantities, were created, making them rather typical. A 1954 Jefferson nickel's worth fluctuates based on a number of factors, variables such as its state, the mint mark, and any mistakes or diseases that are widely circulating. The 1954 Jefferson cent often sells for around its face value, five cents in face value. However, if the coin isn't in flawless or uncirculated form, it might have an increased premium. For instance, the PCGS price guide values entire steps in the MS66 grade at $21,150. Anything at that grade is regarded as grayer and is quite expensive. One of the most expensive 1954 items is this. With all of his steps, Jefferson Nichols is in mean state 66. The ultimate jewel had a finer numerical value. Throughout a challenging day, a brave cart will lose its supports and reach radiant iridescence. To the same date, it was sold at Stex Bowers Auction for $88,112. 50. Locate was fully designed and shipped out. I appreciate you guys watching. Please remember to click the below lock and subscribe buttons. Enjoy your fantastic day.